Hey guys, it's Uncle Doug again coming to you from uh, the basement of one of the ministry houses here in Liberty, Missouri. Oh boy, do we have a lot uh, happening. Um, um, on uh, we're, we're Okay, so we got this farm. We want to have an intentional community. Well, that eyebrow's out of control, isn't it? Um, we want to have a little eco-village where people can live. We want to have a Christian community. Nobody quite understands it. The engineer that we hire draws up twice as many almost buildings in the space that we wanted and uh, says, oh, it's okay. The density is still fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, well, he's he's the pro that you pay money to, so okay, whatever. Um, we go and meet, like, two of the neighbors. And, man, word gets out like wildfire, and everybody's wound up. People are calling zoning, no way, no how, over my dead body, I'm going to fight this tooth and nail, yabba yabba. Uh, get online, read slander, read gossip, read whatever. I, I, I don't know. think we're like a bunch of Vikings going to come rape and pillage their cows and sheep and stuff. I don't know. Anyway, um, so Friday, today's Monday, the 17th of August. Um, Friday, an article comes out in the local paper. Hey, there's this controversy about the zoning thing. And we tried to get a hold of Doug, but he wasn't available. But we're going to go meet him on Monday and get more information. Okay, so this twice weekly little local paper um, comes out today. They called me last Thursday, short notice. We got to get out of the cave. I got one day to get everything out paint, do drywall repair, put it back like it was, get my deposit back. I can't talk to you today, Friday. So they said, well, how about Monday? I said, fine. So I uh, wasn't putting them off. So Monday, they come out, give them a tour, show them around, tell them what we're doing. It's not a rehab. It's not a homeless shelter. It's not Liberty Disaster Relief. It's not the Church of Liberty. It's not in Liberty. This is the Liberty Farm. And it's something altogether different than what we've done before. And it's a Christian community people's heads roll back like they don't understand. I'm like, convent? Monastery? Oh, okay. But with evangelical Christians. Can't compute, can't compute, error, error. Anyway, so, uh, I mean, most of the people here are as committed as a nun, as a, as a brother, as a monk, as a, you know, they are religious people. They are committed to the Lord, to what the Lord wants. They're committed to their 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 life, everything being spent for the Lord. But zoning doesn't make any allowances, Catholic or not, for any of that in a residential setting. <coughs> anyway, so the local paper's out today. Take some pictures, talk to us. I think they're going to be fair. I think they'll, you know, explain what we're trying to do. Their, their their heads start to roll when we talk about human waste composting and stuff, but plenty of videos about it. Going to put that on the website, help people debunk it, understand it, whatever. Anyway, so we try to explain it best we can, give them access, take some pictures, show them around, whatever. Have an open house later this week. We go try and see some of the neighbors, um, answer questions. You know, we're not going to be noisy. We're not going to be bothersome. We're not going to create wastewater. We're not... You know, we don't have a lot of cars. What's the big deal? Well, we like it quiet out here in the country. Big lots, far away from the nearest one. Okay, well, you're a half a mile away from me, you know. Well, yeah, but you're right over the holler. Over the, I mean, how much room do you need? I got a right to chase, you know, uh happiness and all of the stuff that the constitution guarantees people you know uh so well, and there's no place else i mean this place is as good as any other place there's plenty of places we can't go because of homeowners associations or whatever whatever this is unincorporated rural county you know what's the beef 
Anyway, we got 70 acres for Pete's sake. Okay. Uh, anyway, so get to know folks. Whatever. And I get a call from Fox 4 News, the TV station. They want to come out and interview me, and they got wind of this big controversy because, I don't know, neighbors are calling everybody. Somebody's going to put a stop to this. Somebody's got to make a big deal about this. Well, there's no big deal. We're a church. We have a right to be a church in whatever way we feel like we need to be church. And you don't get to, if you have a theological disagreement with us, too bad. You don't get to dispute a neighbor getting a property because you have a religious argument with them. If you think we're going to rape your kids or something, then show me where we've done that. Show me some evidence of how that's real, which it's not. So it can't be. So, you know, whatever. Anyway, but we are a hot potato that nobody wants. And I honestly don't know how it'll go. Uh, if uh, It's not like they're going to get us off the land. We are buying the property. Uh, we have rights to the property. We're going to be having church on the property. And the 30 or, or so little people that we want to move out there, it's just going to become a lot more when you complain and complain and complain and get me on TV and I can tell people what we're doing and more people will say, hey, I like the idea. I want to go be a part of that. <laughs> so uh, there's always those that see through uh, the shows that we've been on or whatever. And they're like, I want to know more about that guy. And then they end up here, you know, so whatever. I, I'm I'm a real believer in the whole all press is good press and you know whatever so pray for me anyway that I'd say the right things that uh, there's a hearing in a couple weeks um, about the zoning and the neighbors will get to have their say hopefully by then we've met them we've talked to them we've answered some of their concerns uh, the city council's mad because they feel like they're getting this thrust on them with no say in it. I, I, maybe I need to go talk to them too. I, and I don't know. We're not even in the city. And they're mad because they don't have control over it all. Uh, anyway, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, hey guys. Well, that phone call uh, last night ended up taking hours and hours and hours. And uh, then I worked on the new website until about 4 in the morning. And uh, so now it's 1 o'clock, Tuesday the 18th. At 3.30, I've got to get out to the land to meet uh, the reporters from Channel 4, Fox News, who want to, uh, I don't know, report on this tempest in a teapot. Uh, you know, really, I mean, fundamentally... And, I, and I, I commented on a page on the new website for the farm, uh, thelibertyfarm.com, by the way, the, T-H-E, libertyfarm.com. And that people are sending their kids to public school, learning to be earth conscious, learning about global warming, carbon taxes and footprints and and they're checking to see if there's GMOs in their food, and they're buying organic, and they're wanting to save the planet. But when somebody moves in next door that wants to go all the way and build straw bale houses or human waste composting or whatever, oh, 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 no, we can't. Well, that's that's crazy. That's just crazy. You should have a 3,000-square-foot house like all the rest of us. It, you, should, you should look like the rest of this neighborhood. You should have a lot. That's a mile away from everybody else so that we don't have to get too close to you. Uh, and, and oh, wait, you do. But that's still too close because you're weird. I mean, shame on you. Okay, shame on you. It's like when I go to pastors and say, God told me to sell all I have and give it to the poor. Oh, he, he didn't mean it literally. You're not really supposed to do that. Oh, Really? Maybe me doing it is just challenging you that you should do it, and you don't want to hear that. Maybe you should sell your big screen TV and stop looking at porn pastor. Okay, anyway, 
<sighs> so, uh, fundamentally, I think we have neighbors that like being really spread out, having it nice and quiet, and they don't want anything that might disrupt their peace. But that's what I want. <laughs> and that's why it's a good neighborhood for us. And uh, anyway, this is society. You have to juggle the, the, the needs and the changes and stuff happens. And I understand um, the spirit of fear that jumps on people when we get around. Uh, Jesus said, you start acting like him, trying to feed and clothe and care for people and do the right thing. Everything's going to try to stop you, and you're to rejoice. So we rejoice, and the reporters come, and I talk to them, and I answer their questions, I give them access, and then we wait and see whether they spike it for the sake of ratings and pound it to us or uh, deal fairly and journalistically. Anyway, um, so I'm going to get out of here. It's 1.30. I haven't had breakfast. We'll get some something like lunch, talk to the reporter. Um, we are still hurting pretty bad financially, uh, getting over all of the move. We're not, we're not scrap meddling yet. Everything is discombobulated. The, the desks are here. The tools are there. The stuff's all over. We've got to get that organized again to get some of that operational. We're not sure where the farm is going to find its feet um so uh if you're in a position to help we could really use it right now i know the lord will make a way like esther mordecai said to esther god will save the jews but how do you know you're not in a place for a time like this oh so, you work it out with the lord but um uh this is a good farm to sow some seeds into i think um, and I know people abuse that and everything and whatever, but the, 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 the Bible's clear. Uh, God returns a good harvest on those that obey. Anyway, so just obey, do whatever God says. Um, and, um, anyway, we've got a meeting. We've got an open house Thursday, the 20th from six to eight at the farm for neighbors to come see the farm and talk to us and stuff and answer questions. Saturday, following that from two to four and the following Saturday, which I think is the 20 or 30th or something like that, two to four. And then f September 1st, there's a public meeting where the neighbors will get to say what they have to say by then. Cindy and I went and talked to four or five of the neighbors last night, answered questions, tried to respond. Hopefully there's, you know, maybe another six or six or eight neighbors that are within the thousand foot notification radius. Um, trying to talk to the city manager of the nearest town and uh, whatever. They don't, it's not in their town, but they have a recommendation role or something like that. I want to answer, I want to get everybody comfy. We're still uh, waiting to hear from the Department of Natural Resources and everything else. So, anyway, um, please continue to pray for us. Um, this is a fight for intentional communities all over, um, not just for us. This is a fight to educate folks about tiny houses, about, uh, you know, simple living and, and the reasons for it. We, there's a lot of good information on the website. I stayed up really late. It's not that I've written a lot, but but a lot of the resources we've looked at, a lot of the videos we've looked at, I just posted them there for people to kind of get caught up to speed with what we're learning as we go along. And if God's telling you to plan for a farm or a refuge or whatever, there's a you know we're we're just going to put up on there even stuff that didn't fit with us, but is pretty cool ideas for generating electricity or or water power, solar power, wind power, whatever, stuff like that. Some of which won't happen, we don't have time for. Some of which will, you know, I don't know. So, um, I don't have a lot to show. We don't have the greenhouse up. The cave is a mess. We're still cleaning there. We don't have cabins. We don't have a hotel. We don't have a zip line going over the pond. <laughs> and we don't, you know, 
so it's all sort of theoretical, and I, all I can do is show what other people are doing that we think is a great idea and would like to do. So that's what we're doing. Uh, anyway, but there's a lot of good stuff on there. Check out the website, thelibertyfarm.com, if you get a chance. And uh, God bless you. Thanks for listening. Uh, please pray for us. Yeah, that's uh, toner ink or something on my hand there. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, amen.